traveling 19,000 miles per hour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 640 miles, altitude 64 miles. Awaiting Atlantis' arrival and with great anticipation is the Expedition 15 crew. Aboard the International Space Station, Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, Flight Engineer Oleg Kotov, and Flight Engineer Sonny Williams, who will come home aboard Atlantis after six months in space. Eight minutes of flight. The engines are now throttling back to maintain the structural limits on the orbiter as it approaches loads near three times gravity. We're standing by for the main engine cutoff confirmation from the booster officer here in Mission Control. Main engine cutoff confirmed, 8 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Separation of the fuel tank has also been confirmed. The crew handheld photography setup will be underway shortly with a plus X maneuver that's managed by the commander on board, Rick Sterko. Atlantis uh, following away. You can see the thruster jets firing as the orbiter is being maneuvered for the uh, handheld photography. Atlantis, Houston, we show a nominal MECO. Ohms 1 is not required. Hey, Atlantis, Roger. Ohms 1 not required. Mission specialist Pat Forrester will be using a, a still camera with a 400 millimeter lens on it. Uh, Danny Olivas will be using a mini DV camera vi taking video of the external tank as uh, it falls away from uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis nine minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Atlantis now in orbit after a, uh, a very uneventful climb to space with no systems problems that the flight control team uh, discussed whatsoever on the way uphill.